can download the art seen in the video for free, link in the description. For a simple knockback system, first go to the script of the object that you want to receive the knockback. For me, it's the player. Inside, we will define two variables. Knockback will determine the direction and the speed of the knockback. And knockback timer will be used to track how long the knockback has been active for, so that you can stop the knockback effect after a certain amount of time. Create a custom function called apply knockback. Inside, we'll have three built-in variables. One for the direction of the knockback, one for the force or strength of the knockback, and one for the duration of how long the knockback is active for. Next, we will set the two variables from before appropriately. The reason why we separate this is to make sure that the script that calls the function is much simpler, as the script will only need to call this function rather than setting a bunch of variables as well. Inside the script, create an if else statement that separates the knockback effect from your movement code. Make sure that move and slide is active no matter the if else statement. First, we check if knockback timer is more than 0.0, .0 meaning that the knockback effect is active. Then we apply the knockback to velocity. We then minus delta from the timer, which will tick the timer down independently from frame rate. And once the timer is less than or equal to zero seconds, then we will reset the knockback. Now, inside the script that we want to deal the knockback, just create a variable for the knockback direction. This will take the difference between this node and the other's global position, then normalize it to essentially create a vector 2 that simply stores a direction towards a position. Then we call the custom apply knockback function, passing the knockback direction, the force or strength, and the total time we want the knockback to be active for. Now we can add this knockback logic into any of our top-down 2D games, and don't forget that you can check out the project files, link in the description.